The Scientific Advisory Council of the American Red Cross is a group of individuals who come together to lend their expert opinion. And what we do is look at the latest scientific information to make sure that it is safe for our members, but more importantly, safe for the American public. Many of the people on the council are people that I've, I've read their papers, I've seen them speak nationally. It's a multidisciplinary group of people that crosses domains from educators to researchers to medical clinicians to administrators. And it really is kind of a dream team of people who have some stake in the mission of the American Red Cross. We exist to make sure that the American Red Cross's programs are data-driven. We have great information on resuscitation. We have great information on first aid. We have great information on disasters and aquatics. But we now need to know how to teach it to people. We are continually evaluating evidence on different topics, and we come out with recommendations uh, multiple times a year. And these recommendations are then used by different organizations around the world. So we're looking at the decisions that we've made, the policies that are in place, the programs that we're offering, and trying to determine, is that the best we can do? Is that really best practice? At the American Red Cross, we're trying to bring people into the idea of they can help when an emergency happens. And our effort to work with communities to effectively change people's behavior is something I'm very proud of. It's high quality instructors delivering high quality education that makes all the difference in whether the things that we do at the Scientific Advisory Council make it out to actually touch the patients we take care of. The American Red Cross mission is, in my mind, the ultimate in volunteerism to help people who are in need. Every day I think we're saving lives, every day we're teaching people how to swim. It has a major impact and I think that's why all the, the members of the council take this very seriously and do a wonderful job with it. Every time we come we meet every six months, there's something new and we're really focusing on making a difference and I love that about the Scientific Advisory Council. We're only just beginning to see the possibilities of what can happen when you really get good science and good evidence injected into some of these programs. It's great discovering new knowledge, but this knowledge is no good just in a stale scientific journal. You gotta get it in the public's hands, and the American Red Cross Scientific Advisory Council is doing just that.